white good, they call, they check in, they pick it up, or they could come in here, get a sticker from us, the sticker goes on the furniture. I don't, I, I can speak for Joe because he's, he's said it so many times, I know that his feeling is if we do that, we're going to find chairs and couches in the swamps and in the woods again too, correct Joe? Yeah, we will. Yeah. Oh, we, and, and you know what? We will. Yeah, I know. We will. It's uh, stolen stickers, somebody comes by, tears it off the couch. It, 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 it presents a different police action. Yeah, yeah I know. Uh, the more you require people to right. Right. pay, uh, specifically. Is there a dumping fine fee? Yes. What is it? It's in the bylaws, and I believe it's 500 bucks. Uh, the problem is that problem can't be. Yeah. No, I, I know, but yeah. I'm thinking if we go this route, you make an example out of the first couple of people, I think you're going to cut down tremendously on the, any dumping that goes on. you got to catch them. But that is uh, 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 the board has not been willing to do that thus far. We're open to it, certainly. Uh, again, if we make some changes, then we need to tell you what impact that's going to make operationally or from a, a police work or whatever. When I say police work, I mean the police department. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll, uh, we'll have to do more uh, investigation kind of work. Uh, we've already talked about how far do you go with trash when they find it. And somebody's got to put on rubber gloves and get into trash if it's in the swamps and open up the bags. And who's going to do those kinds of things? So uh, we need to talk about that if we're going to go into a, a different program. Have we taken a look at what it would cost to actually buy our own truck? Gonna get there. Have you seen that? There was an article in the Globe over the weekend where uh, I believe it's a town in Maine. They have the town owns a truck and they have it's got this crane looking arm that comes out right. the side and the townspeople lease trash barrels that fit this arm. Correct. And we're gonna I'm gonna bring that up last. All right. <laughs> but you're you're I there. Apologize for yeah, no, that's comment. fine. You're there. The uh, the next uh, item four is reducing trash, maximizing recycling versus what we have now. And that's, again, to put out their bag limits. We put out a number of bags per week, uh, then uh, does it, doesn't that force people to look at, I've got too much paper, I've got mail, I've got junk mail and so forth that I can be putting in a recycling and not in the trash. It just makes people more aware that I have only can put out so many bags I've got to look to reduce my trash and get out uh, optimized recycling. The, um, the downside of that is you're going up on your fee and people may uh, obviously call you and say, you're going up on the fee uh, and you want to take, you want me to put less bags out. So that, I mean, that, that's a policy decision that's going to make that, make that complaint. Yeah, At least initially. Hand, Part of the reason for going up on the fee is that we've taken it out of the uh, revenue stream. Right. So, I mean, that, that's inevitable. It's got nothing to do with habits or anything at this point. <laughs> right. But I, 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 that is a, uh, if you're going to stay status quo with the program, that's a strong recommendation of Public Works and Recycling Committee to consider just We've, we've thrown out numbers to you before. It's four to six is usually what other towns have done in terms of setting a bag limit. That's a very healthy uh, bag limit. If it's six bags a week, that's three totas, two bags uh, each. And visual recycling policy is something that uh, we would also like you to consider uh, uh, soon. And that is, when I say the bag limits in the recycling, visual recycling, we'd like to have a decision by July 1st only so we can start um, getting the word out. So we have close to a fiscal year to watch uh, what impact it has on the budget in a positive way. And the other is the visual recycling policy. Now we don't, we don't have a hard policy. 
and that is if JRM, the hauler, comes by and they see Mike's rubbish and they see uh, um, recyclables that are in it, they leave it. Or if they go to pick it up and they can feel the weight, say, of magazines, the, they may just take a quick look in it. They're not going to go through it. They may just take a quick look at it. It's a visual inspection by the hauler himself. And if they see recyclables, <coughs> they do not pick it up. That means there's going to be phone calls and complaints, uh, primarily to public works, but you're going to get them too. And we're going to hear all kinds of stories because that's what happens. But in the end, uh, that's one that will, uh, as Sean just said, when you when you when you hit somebody a couple times, well, there's no fine here, but the penalty is they got to they got to wait another week to dump the rubbish, and after a while they're going to they're going to they're going to come around, at least if they're really taking advantage. But isn't that easily defeated by just putting a trash in a black bag and closing it up and throwing it on the curb? Well, you know what? You pick it up, and if it clings because it's got glass in it, put it down. But, but, Mr. Vino. But, but Dave, do you understand what that's going to do to the town? There's going to be trash everywhere. I, there's no way I can agree to this. I mean, it's just going it, to, it's, it's, it, it'll be chaos out there. It, 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 it truly will. I mean, I, I understand the intention of it, you know, and I'm not against recycling. I, I do it now, but I mean, if somebody throws out a vase and a, and a cup of, of water glasses and they cling, they're going to put the bag down and drive away. I, right. I they can't will. go along with that one. I, <laughs> just being upfront with you, it's just, I, I could see. Oh, they pick it up and they say, "Oh, there's two Boston Globes in there. We're not taking it." You know, I. Technically, they're not supposed to. Yeah. It's in state regulations. Well. I'm just I'm just saying what will happen is, yeah, no, I'm just saying what will happen is the, the trash will just be. There's been, there's, this has been done in other towns that there, we have initial, we've, we've seen articles, we have information, and we provide this to the board, that there, is, there has been an issue of the illegal dumping. It's always an issue no matter what happens if you change this. You enforce it, you enforce the laws, they have a spike initially, and then it, you, you put an enforcement and it starts dying off. I just have to respectfully disagree. Well, they have relief. It, yeah. the, the, reason, the reason why it <coughs> spikes, and, and in, some area, in some communities it may spike a little longer, but you've got to realize there's a, there's, a, there's a release for them, and that is instead of the trash bag, is the recycling bin. Whereas the couch, your argument with the couch, bulky item, if we make them pay for the bulky item, each bulky item, there's no other alternative. Right. Per se, this they have a clear alternative, and that is they got to be more conscious about putting recyclable materials in the bin. Yep. The young lady in the back. Um, Dave Robertson, Precinct Four Park Two Recycling Committee. Uh, I hear a lot about this dumping issue, and I, I'm offended as a resident that the board or people believe that residents of North Reading are going to just go dump their trash all over the place, and that seems to be the worry that we're going to. Well, we, we know one thing, Meg, and that is if we, we do a pay-as-you-throw of some type, and I only can tell you because of 65 cents, it, yeah, it's worth less than it was five years ago when we went into this program. But we had 11 <coughs> years, 65 cents. 11 years, and the, the, the revenue ranged from 190 to 210, round numbers. In 11 years, and during those 11 years, we were seeing a build out of 100 new homes a year. Net revenue never went anywhere, never increased. Why? Because there was some other black hole going on where that rubbish went. Our town, uh, our town uh, bins, um, we, our 
dumpsters. Dumpsters, excuse me. Yeah, thank you. Well, full in the morning. Come by at night, fill them up. You put locks on them. I, I know what's going to happen. The next morning, when we come in here, they're going to be all around the dumpster for us to to dump. I mean, that we we know the situation. Is that a small minority of people? We believe it's enough that it's you're chasing it, and it's constant. Sean? Do you believe that if we go with a hybrid approach, the dumping would be drastically less than if it's a total page you throw? Because they can control their own cost if we go with a hybrid approach. It may encourage more recycling. I see it as less dumping if that's the route we go. Then I can see it increase dumping if it's completely pays you throw. But I believe that if it's a hybrid approach, the dumping will be f far less. The, the uh, total recycling, I don't believe is an option, uh, pay as you throw, is just not an option because number one of the cost per bag and two, the budget is, would be too volatile. The, the option that we uh, have zeroed in on in terms of looking at as a hybrid, the hybrid, covers the fixed costs, so you, you're paying those folks you're obligated to, and then of course the trash is what right. you're, you're paying what you pick up, and we just got to make sure we hit the bull on is, is $1.75 the right price, uh, or should it be a little bit more or less, and you'll only know that as you go out, but if they, if they look for places at 65 cents a bag to dump, we, 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 we have a high level of assurity that for $1.75, they're going to look to dump as well. What I'm saying to you is that if we go that route, we have to think in terms of policing it. We have to look at another uh, re uh, resource investment, if you will, of time between public works and police so that we can curb that uh, and, and folks will come around to it because the risk is too great to be caught. Well, we're, we're approaching the... Uh beginning of the next fiscal year, and it's clear to me that pay as you throw, hybrid or not, isn't going to be implemented. There's no way that can be implemented by the beginning of the fiscal year. Uh, everybody's, uh, I believe, is on board with that. We, we so, so step one, I think, is to determine what, under the existing system, fees have to be changed and what other administrative uh, items that you <coughs> talked about tonight need to be put in place for the 1st of July. And then I think, you know, the board's going to certainly get some feedback. We've been getting feedback for a long time associated with the fairness of the issue, is that we're going to have to schedule a public hearing to discuss the options, make a decision, and a time frame to which this can a practical implementation can be made if we are going to make a change. The, uh, we, we would suggest perhaps that at your next meeting uh, you implement the fee increase uh, the $46 per household. With respect to that, I'd like to go back to the numbers just one more uh, time so that and, it's and clear also, in my mind. And, and also the consideration of the bag limits and visual recycling policy uh, in addition to the fee. Uh, the total budget required was for this coming fiscal year is at $1,055,000. I'm looking right on the sheet. Right. Yeah. And the intent is to use $101,402 from right. the Neswick Fund. Right. Which means that the current fees based on current billing practice is, is 760500 That's what we've been collecting. That's what we bill out each year. What did you say? 760 Yeah, right. right. So un underfunded based on what you've estimated is needed for this coming year is the 193 320 And that comes to be a additional fee for the year of $46. Right. 
which would mean dividing that by four, the